Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are gonna be testing these air tags. We are flying to three different airports today. It's a triple header flight and we are also traveling through Toronto Pearson Airport, which is notoriously known for losing bags. This is what it looks like in and around baggage claim areas. Hundreds of bags still unclaimed. Owners trying to find theirs. This is the type of news stories that we've been getting all year. So we're gonna be carrying four different air tags. Venus is one, I have three, one in each piece of luggage that we're carrying. And let's find out what happens. Hopefully we don't lose our bags because that would be terrible for our trip. So we're going? Yes. Okay, let's go, let's go. Big boy today. Got it from winners, 50 bucks. Oh. <laughs> oh. And nice prize. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. Off you go. So nice. All right, let's get moving. So today we are heading to the country of Guatemala, but we got three flights between here and there. So we just want to talk about, you know, what you need to know about flying through the United States. No. You're gonna like, share, and subscribe, and all the other stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Here we go. Alright, so the three rules about traveling across the United States. Um, we have three flights today. We're bouncing around the United States before we get to our final destination. However, three rules that we already broken. One, uh, you never usually go with uh, checked luggage because there's like a 50-50 chance they might lose it, which is a big problem. Luckily, all the stuff we need in that luggage is going to be like a couple days from now. So there'll, there'll be time if they do lose it to like show up to our hotel. Uh, we put an air tag in it just so we could keep track of it, but we don't know where it's gonna happen. It's three different flights. Because it's the States, it's very common that people bump people off flights. Oh. You did not know that? <laughs> yeah, they, it's, it happens all the time. And then, so that's why you only book your hotel on your final flight, right before your final flight to your destination. Because if you get bumped off your first flight or your second flight, you're pretty much not making it to your destination. Did you? I know you booked the hotel. But I don't think I've ever explained this. You to didn't you. explain any of these three points to me before, so I'm new to this. Because remember, I told you, don't book until the last flight. Don't book until the last I didn't, I didn't, didn't explain, explain why. Just, yeah, but I didn't listen. Anyways. Yeah. What's the third rule? I don't know. I never listen. You never told me about these three rules, so. Yeah. I can't help you. <laughs> The thought process here is that as long as they're like airport employees that has, they're using like iPhones or whatever, then this should be able to highlight where the bags are as it continues to travel. And hopefully, um, once the bag goes into the airplane, it should be like right underneath us when we're on the plane. Otherwise, we'll see this still here when we're in the next city and we'll know that something's gone horribly wrong. I guess the third rule is use American Express because you get free access to the lounge. Not all the cars are so. <laughs> How excited are you for the trip? Yeah? Good. I, apparently I don't tell Venus anything about tips or anything when I travel. Uh, I use this app called App in the Air. And what it does is it automatically scans all of your like email accounts for any type of boarding passes or whatever. And it automatically sends all this information to your watch. So here it actually says what's happening on my flight how long is my next flight, and what gates the next gate I have to get to. So, super useful when you're traveling. Everyone should download this app if you travel very frequently. And it also keeps track of all your flights so you can get points and stuff too. So, super useful app in the air. I'm not paid by them, not ad. All right, let's go. Is that coffee number two? I said I have to drink some coffee in Guatemala because they're famous for coffee. Are you gonna bring some help? All right, so our first potential problem has just come about. Uh, we have three flights today. If one of the flights become way too more delayed than our layover, we miss our flight. So uh, our first flight is now delayed by half an hour, which I don't think is going to be too much of a problem because we had a three-hour layover in Chicago. But how's the Audible adventure going? I don't know. I'm just trying to discover what's good to listen. Venus Jen, flight number one. Yes. Let's go! Okay, according to this, my luggage has moved. 
<laughs> yeah, I really want to know if it's going to show up at the airport, okay? <laughs> this is a very promising sign. It says it's right below us. So I'm assuming that means it's uh, on the plane. This one? Yeah. Because there's a smaller overhead bin, it might not fit. So double check it. Who's excited about her flight? So, it's looking good. It says that the fl it's on the plane, maybe, who knows. Uh, I don't like it when they check in my check check in my carry-on luggage. I have actual fears about that. All right. Good luck, everybody. More chances to lose their luggage. <laughs> all, all, all of them are checked. All of them. Peace out, guys. <laughs> Very full flight. <laughs> Flight one, done. Hey guys. Bye. 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 I'm sorry they lost your bag. <laughs> Let's go. You can Do you want to try some Chicago deep fish pizza? Kind of. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Maybe later. To be honest, this doesn't look great. I don't think this is gonna do a justification. <laughs> Good news, it made it with us. It is in Chicago. Why is that local? Volcano? It's a volcano because we're gonna climb a volcano. So a volcano is us. No, or... no, the vac volcano is the expedition gear. Oh, I see. What'd you get? Then why don't you come down a little bit, little bit. Where, where the food is tiny. It looks like regular food, but really tiny. Oh my god, it is a, it is a whole thing of mini bites. Little bit. Penis. Number two. Oh, yeah. uh, so there's a lot of people. Between us and the us having to switch to another terminal in the next destination. And we only have an hour and 15 minutes to get to the gate. Which should be enough, but hopefully this flight isn't delayed. I don't think this flight's delayed, so. All right, so right now we're deploying a tack that we found on the internet. If Venus books this seat here and I book the aisle seat, hopefully no one books this middle seat here. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work. It's, it's okay. okay. Next time. Good luck, everybody. Seven minutes. We have to go to a different terminal and find our gate. But overall, you know, that's a lot of time. You can do a lot of things in 27 minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're on like a kilometer in 15. You know, how hard can this be? 15 minutes a kilometer? No, you can walk a kilometer in 15 minutes. That's right. Not run. You can do that in four. So. Yeah. <laughs> 23 minutes. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, take care. Who is close? Dallas. 22 minutes. Oh, the plane arrived at the right, the same terminal as our flight. It's not terminal E, it's terminal C. See? Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, Everything go. worked out in the end. Woo! <laughs> This is the first time I've ever felt so glad that a flight has been delayed. <laughs> Bags are in Houston. Bad news, I don't think there's enough time to transfer between this plane and the other plane because it's literally... So if the flight is delayed, maybe that's the extra time they're gonna... 
I think there's a pretty high chance it's gonna be left here and we're gonna get the bag some other day. But that's why you need air tag. They, they must have known that all these flights are late and they're all connecting flights, right? Yeah. 36A. <laughs> This is insane. This is like a really, really old plane. But they have live television on the screens here. Yeah. I might be watching I've been, this. I've been traveling since 2016. I've never seen live TV on a plane. Is this new? <laughs> That's potentially right underneath us. What did we do without air tags? Just believe in it. <laughs> Off we go. Good night. Switch. Hey, you're in Guatemala. Yeah. Hi, friend. Oh, the holy child has arrived. Is that mine? <laughs> <laughs> I think it must be mine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The holy child has arrived. <laughs> Uh, so much anxiety, now relieved. Now we can go do things in Guatemala. So much fun. I guess air tags work. Like we got, we were able to track it and we did see that it go like underneath us when we were on the plane. So yeah, highly recommended. Anxiety all cleared. I think we have to actually put away the cameras. I think they're gonna do more customs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, country number 26. What? It's either 24, 25, or 26. I don't actually remember. Let's go find our pickup. Oh. Yay, there you go. We found it. <laughs> Here we are. And uh, that's where we're going to end today. So, you want to see it? Uh, we will see you tomorrow and explore some nice Guatemala City or Antigua, Guatemala. But for now, we're gonna shower and sleep.